As the rain let up and the sun rose, Vermonters found themselves in an eerily familiar situation, cleaning up after an extreme rainstorm. Our team began the day in Charlotte. Spear Street seemed normal until you got to the Muddy Hollow Brook. The high waters eroded the soil all around the culvert, sending the massive metal pipe and pieces of blacktop down the raging stream. A giant hole was all that was left of the frequently traveled road. And that was a common theme in our travels. A tiny brook or stream barely visible on a normal day turned into a massive raging river thanks to all of the rain in a very short period of time. The dirt roads in Hinesburg were a disaster as water carved the path of least resistance. Road crews desperately trying to make repairs, allowing folks stranded on the other side to get through. On Beecher Hill Road, a fallen tree hung on the power lines as the soil, once holding it up, washed away into the waters below. A freshly paved Richmond Road was quickly eroded in the rapid rush of water. And people living in Richmond found themselves watching the Winooski River slice their town in half for the third time in just a year. Unlucky folks who left their cars in the Richmond Park and Ride came back to find them floating in feet of water. And as of 2 p.m. Thursday, the exit 11 southbound off-ramp remained underwater. In Chittenden County, I'm Sky Tracker Chief Meteorologist Haley Boulay, Fox 44 News. Haley, thank you. Now in the Northeast Kingdom, Police Chief Jack Harris tells us this is the worst flood Lindenville has seen in decades. He said many people are out of their homes and many others rescued. The floodwaters came up extremely rapidly um, and areas of our town have been flooded that haven't been flooded in the last 21 years. For a time, our fire department swift water rescue was out uh, removing people from houses because the flood water came up so quick that they couldn't leave beforehand. Just down Interstate 91, Barnett is dealing with catastrophic washouts. A section of Route 5 and several other roads have collapsed, resulting in several road closures. People who live here say power has been restored, but many were still without water. And in Washington County, many homes were hit hard by the storm as well. In Waterbury, people formed a bucket, a bucket brigade to help remove mud from flooded homes. A scene repeated across towns in central Vermont. In Plainfield, Art Edelstein looked at the damage yesterday around a home he has owned for 50 years and now rents to tenants. I mean, it's just mud everywhere now, and uh, I, haven't, I haven't been inside. I don't know what's going on. Um, this is, in my impression, catastrophic. I've just never seen anything like this. And some of the worst damage is in the Northeast Kingdom in the town of Barnett, where storm waters cratered US-5 right in the center of town.